Today we're out at in Martinez, headed out for sturgeon with Kyle Wise with Headhunter Sport Fishing. People have been asking for sturgeon videos since we started making videos, and today we're going to try to get into a few and make the best video possible. Yep, weather's with awesome. Our new edge rods. Yes, yep, sir. The new edge rods. New edge rods we picked up from Edge. So I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we're going to test them out and see how they work. Yep, weather has been blowing the last three days. We finally got some calm winds. It's going to be an awesome day out here. It is going to be awesome. Yeah. A lot of laughs, a lot of fun. We'll see. And, don't <laughs> always, and always remember, peace, love, and hair grease. Yep. There it is. We, we are. Oh, JT is on. Spinning rod. <laughs> there it is. JT on a spinning rod. Damn. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you feel, JT? <laughs> hey. Hey, I feel like I'm the first hey. one hooked up again. Like a house hey. yeah. Will you? Will you hurry He's up and, uh, and taking it too? God. Hey. Will you reel this thing in? It's only two feet long. It might be a little bigger. Than that. No, I think it isn't. Oh, on that spinning rod, two feet's gonna. Man, you were out of breath reeling in the weight. <laughs> Damn reel's older than he is. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> 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 don't break. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice little fish. There it is. There we go, boys. Oh, yeah. Get him in the boat. Fish number one to the boat. Get him in the boat. There you go. <laughs> All right. There we go, JT Tidwell. So what are you doing here, Kyle? We're going to rebate this one. So what we're doing is we're going to go underneath the knot, go underneath the knot away from the eggs. Then what we do is we take the tail end of the tule, we wrap it a couple times, and what we're basically doing is using it as a bait button to hold that row ball up on top of the shank of the hook. Just like that. Then that's how we prepare our sturgeon baits. Perfect. Get it out there, Kyle, and get us a fish, man. There you go. Dang! Milk it! Yeah! Milk it! Milk it! Come on, Milky. I can hear it. I couldn't even get to the... Good job, Milky. Oh, I didn't do nothing, Milky. bro. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Look at those rocks. Giant! Okay, okay. Now we got a real one. <laughs> that thing was ripping out. I couldn't even get out of the rod hole. All I heard was noise. All I could hear was noise. Yeah, that's just him rolling. That's fine. Look at his tail was over there. <laughs> He's kicking your ass. Close. But he ain't coming in. He ain't coming in. Oh, 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 there he is. There you go. There you go, big boy. Flip, leave him upside down, he'll stop fighting. Watch out, watch out. That is a giant. That's that pretty is big. A giant. It's big. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No 20 keeper. years ago. There you oh, go. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. So that's a giant. This thing's huge. It's big, for sure. No. Uh, yep. There you go. I'm gonna slide him forward. Nice. <laughs> yeah, boys. Shit, I'm broken. All right, let's go over the balance beam. On my boat, I run eight rod holders. If we're running eight rods on the back. And normally we run all my rods, and all my rods are the Phoenix rods with 10 Fathom 15 LTDs. And the key to the balance beam, if you run all the same rods, your tips will be exactly the same. So it'll be a lot easier to detect a bite instead of running 
you know, five different rods. And what we do is we number them one through six or one through eight, depending on how many rods you have across your balance beam. So if I'm on the bow of the boat and you holler out number two, they know exactly where to go. Then our technique is when we get a bite, it's just the opposite of what everybody thinks. We do not set the hooks on these fish. When that rod tip goes down, all you do is put your palm on the top of the reel and you just reel as fast as you can until that rod doubles up, folds over. Then you fight to get it out of the rod holder and the fight's on. When it comes to terminal tackle, I'm running 80 pound braid. We're running 16 ounce sinkers on a slider. These little guys right here. Then for our leaders, I'm running a 120 pound mono, half ounce sliding sinker to keep that bait on the bottom with a seven odd owner Kell hook, barbless. Now is there laws on the length of those leaders? There is. You have to be under 18 inches. Over. Or excuse me, you can't be under 18 inches on a sturgeon leader. So we and need to be weight. over 18 inches. Yes, you have to be over 18. Cannot... Is there a restriction on that weight as well? Yes, half ounce is your max. And what's the size limit on the sturgeon too? I mean, I think they changed the slot limit this year? Yeah, they changed it a few months ago. It was 40 to 60 inches. Now California's dropped it down to 42 to 48 for our retention limit. And you're allowed one fish per year. Per angler. Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> yes, it's like trying to locate a unicorn. Well, Kyle, thanks for everything, man. Thanks for just having us out here, man. Hey, it's my pleasure. You guys are fun to fish with, like always. <laughs> we got Dave here on with the Headhunter Guide Service. Nice little fish. Slide him back here, Dave. Slide him back there and Kyle will shake him off. Yeah, we just nice little fish. We just moved spots. Came out here by the bridge, obviously. And we've been in the water about five minutes. And we got a short. All right, so today we're out in the sloughs fishing with Headhunter Sport Fishing and Kyle Wise catching sturgeon. We've already caught three. We've missed three other ones because we are, you know, we're, we're coconut and trout guys. <laughs> we do fish the Delta a lot, but setting the hook is something we really have to work on because we, we I think that's do you. Do it. You have to work on. It is me. It is, you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> anyway, we just landed a big oversize. You can get a hold of Kyle at. 209-531-3966 or on the web www.fishwithheadhunters.com And what else do you fish for besides sturgeon? We'll do stripers on the delta in the springtime. During the summer we're up on the mother load lakes, McClure, Don Pedro, and New Maloney's fishing for kokanee and trophy trout. There is absolutely nobody that spends more time on New Maloney's than this man. He's there every day. He actually takes care of the kokanee power trout that are in the pens there. So if you catch a big trout on Malona's, you can thank this guy for feeding them before they get let go. People like that that give back to the fishery that they're utilizing every day are the kind of people we like to hang out with here at Epic Fishing Vibes. That's why we call Kyle Wise and guys like that to fish with. We can come fish by ourselves. But we might as well spread the love and share it with everyone else. Yeah, right, Kyle's just fun as hell. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. <laughs> For real, that's true. We do have a good time out here. Yes, we do. And if you've been at Malona's and ever need help with anything, we've had them from help us with dogs breaking their legs all the way to <laughs> downriggers falling in the lake. Right. Kyle has always helped us. It's pretty awesome to have a group of guys like this to be around to fish with. That should be right, all right there. All right, boys. This is we're ending up the day with Headhunter Sport Fishing. Out here in Martinez, we did a little sturgeon fishing with the Epic Fishing Vibes crew. Yes, sir. Great day. It's awesome weather. Uh, what did we guys get? I think we went five for ten because somebody went uh, one, Some, one for four. Yeah. I think that would be this gentleman right here. Yeah, and we got one nice oversized. I had my back turned to it and the rod went off, so I grabbed it. So it almost ruined me. My, I was a little cramping up, but we got into the boat. So 
Got a nice all, little video from that. For pretty much. All in all, it was a great trip. Yeah. Awesome times. We had a great time. We used yeah. uh, Headhunters rods. We also used our Edge rods, which performed phenomenally today. Yes, they did. Truly enjoyed them. And honestly, all I can say is peace, love, and hair, hair grease. grease. <laughs>